What's up everybody? Welcome to Rex Engine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up melee combo attacks in Rex Engine. So the idea behind a melee combo attack is that you can mash the attack button in succession, and every attack in that string is going to come out as a slightly different attack. Now that could be a different size hitbox, it could deal a different amount of damage, it could have a different animation or a different sound effect. Basically, it could be a different attack entirely even if you so choose. Basically, it just means that you're attacking in a combo string, and every attack is different. So initially, I'm going to test this out, and I've got my player here on the screen, and he's got no attacks whatsoever. So I'm just going to sit in front of this guy like a doofus and spam the attack button, and nothing is going to come out. So for starters, let's give this guy a slash attack. So I'm going to click on the player, go to Tools, Rex Engine, Add Attack, Add Melee Attack, and this is going to give us a generic uh, wrench slash attack. So if we test this now, when I hit the attack key, this attack is going to come out. And we can see there's no combo set up yet, so no matter how much I hit the button, it's just that one slash. So let's make this a combo. Um, I feel like I'm working in fast food or something. So I'm going to click on the attacks object and do create empty child. And I'm going to name this child object melee combo chain. And you can call this whatever you want. This is just for organization's sake. And I'm going to move the existing melee attack into the melee combo chain. So the next thing I want to do is go into the project files and search for combo chain. So combo chain is the component we need to make a combo into a combo. So I'm going to click on that and drag it into the melee combo chain object so we can see in the inspector now we've got this component here. And there's a couple of main things that matter here. Um, one is the attacks section. This is basically a list that holds every different attack, every different hit that composes that combo. Um, so right now we've only got the one attack, so I'm going to set the list size to 1 and drag the melee attack into that slot. And the other important thing here is frames before timeout. So right now it's set to 64, and what that means is that if I hit the attack button, I have 64 frames to hit the attack button again before the combo is dropped. So if the combo is dropped, it goes back to the first hit. But if we hit the attack button multiple times without dropping the combo, then it cycles through the combo string and does every attack in it. So if we test this right now, it should look the same as before because there's only one hit in the combo. So we're still just going to have that one basic slash. And I gave this dude, uh, this Tricera bot, 10 hit points so we can wail on it for a while before it dies. So we've got one hit in the combo. And now let's add in a second slash attack. So I'm going to click on the player again, go back to tools, Rex Engine, add attack, add melee attack. And I'm going to rename this new attack, um, just melee attack underscore two. And I'm going to drag that into the combo chain object. And click on the combo chain component, change that list size to two, and slot in melee attack two underneath the, the original melee attack, so this is now the second hit for the chain. Um, and I'm going to give this melee attack 2 some slightly different properties, just so it's so they don't look the same, so we can tell we're actually doing a combo. Um, so let's, let's see. Let's click on it, let's go into the contact damage section, and let's make it deal 2 damage per hit instead of 1. Let's give it a different animation. Um, so there's two steps to that. One is I want to change the animator's controller. So I've got a new animation, or a couple new animations that are made up just for this. Um, they're just regular Unity animations, so nothing special there. So I'm just going to use the Melee 2 controller. And then under the, um, under the animations, we have this default animation, which is like the, the old slash animation. And I'm just going to slot in this new animation, which is default combo 2. 
So this is going to present itself as a slightly different slash, basically. So what we should have now is a slightly different attack. Um, it's going to be another slash that deals two damage and has a different animation. Let's double check those are both slotted into the combo chain, and they are. So fingers crossed when we hit play now, we should see two different attacks come out. There's one. And there we go. So we've got this more horizontal looking slash as the second one. And we can see it's dealing more damage too. Um, we can see the enemy dies faster because that second one is dealing two damage per hit. Um, so let's give this one more just to show you guys this process again. So I'm going to click on player, tools, rex engine, add attack, add melee attack. I'll call this one melee attack underscore three and drag it into the combo chain group. Add this one into the attacks list on the combo chain. Um, let's make this one deal four damage. Why not? So I'm going to give it a different animation. Uh, so we have to change the animator controller. And change the animation clip. Um, and this is more to do with regular attacks, just in general, than with chains, with combos necessarily. Um, but we can see what I'm doing here is that every attack gives us different slots where we can slot in unique animations for when you do the attack while also doing different actions. So right now we're using the same animation, but if you want different attack animations for when you're standing and moving and dashing and jumping and when you attack during those things, then you have the option to put in different animations for all of this. And let's also give this one a different audio clip, just so we have like a, a culmination sort of to this combo chain. Okay, so that should do it, and we should, yeah, we've got them all slotted. So we should see this enemy um, melt pretty quickly here, since these other attacks are dealing more damage. So there we've got it. We've got a three hit combo. Um, you could make that as many hits as you want. There's no restriction in Rex Engine. Um, you could make it 500 hits if you felt like it. And the only real reason not to is because I think that would be kind of poor gameplay. But uh, yeah, Rex Engine, it lets you make games that are as bad as you want. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so the one last thing I want to do to make this really feel like a proper combo is on melee attack three, um, well actually for all of these, we have this, this cooldown frames property, which is basically how many frames it takes b before you're allowed to do another attack. Um, so right now this is set to zero, so you can just spam attacks one after the other. I'm gonna make this 10 frames for the first two, and then um, a higher number, like let's say 32 for the last one. So what's gonna happen is once you've done the entire combo, there's going to be a slight delay before you can attack again. And that should feel pretty good. So I'm just going to mash the attack button as fast as I can right now so you guys can see. So we can see there's a little bit more of a delay after the third attack, attack which really helps give it some, some finality, some oomph to it. And there we have it. That is Melee Combo Chains and Rex Engine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be back with more soon.